Now, the Minerals Commission has developed a system to trace all gold mined in Ghana and exported. George Mrikuduka, who is the Deputy Minister for Lands and Natural Resources, has disclosed. He made the disclosure during the inauguration of the Takwa in Swaim District Mining Committee. The Deputy Minister for Land and Natural Resources, George Mrekuduka, stressed that the Ekufuadu government has bold initiatives that will ensure safety and sustainable mining aimed at bringing the needed development to mining communities. He added these laudable policies are being threatened by illegal mining and gold smuggling, hence the need for Ghanaians to contribute and demonstrate enough patriotism to the fight. Mrekuduka reported with excitement that some major water bodies in the country are beginning to regain their turbidity levels. And we are using this platform to charge all traditional rulers to be part of the fight against recalcitrant mining in our river bodies. If care is not taken, we may import water to this country. And the responsibility is on us to protect our river bodies going forward. The Takwa Inswayem MP clarified that the government is focused on revamping the natural resources sector to make it more profitable to Ghanaians. He dismissed notions that the Kufuado administration is seeking to collapse the small scale in mining sector. We are charging you to ensure and protect Act 703 in this regard and not allowing any foreigner to be part of small-scale mining enclave and it is important for us to note that that small-scale mining is reserved for Ghanaians and that is why the Ministry of Lands and Natural Resources knowing the key ingredients that will be needed for small-scale mining and because it is capital intensive, has negotiated well with banks to be financing small scale miners. According to him, the committee will go a long way in regularizing the mining sector in the municipality. The chairman of the committee, who is also the municipal chief executive of the Pristia Huni Valley, Dr. Isaac Dasmani thanked government for the opportunity given them to serve and promised to work harder.